YouTube and today I'm going to be going over the Marvel Collector Corpse Spider-Man box. I just got my box the other day. Came in the mail I think on Saturday? I don't know. Yeah, Saturday. Something like that. Uh, I was going to have another video guys out for you guys last week. Um, still trying to work on that. I'm having trouble with the software. So um, it was going to be of my Stealth Venom so be on the lookout for that one. Uh, so we're just going to do a quick unboxing of the Marvel Collector Corpse Spider-Man box. Got Spider-Man artwork right here on top, and then on the side, Spider-Man, Marvel Collector Corps, same thing, and then just my address on the bottom. So right here we got some of the artwork. The light's kind of in the way, guys, but yeah, there goes all the artwork, artwork on the lid. Come back down. And uh, there goes the pin in the patch that it comes with okay and as soon as we open it up you do get the poster for next uh, not next month but in two months you know the next one Doctor Strange really looking forward to that one I'm actually gonna be doing the review with my son because uh, my son's a huge Doctor Strange fan and right here uh, it does come on the opposite side of what the contents are don't want to give that away yet um, so Leave it off to the side, and first thing that I do see, we do have the Spider-Man exclusive, uh, the Marvel Collector's exclusive pop, it's a Leaping Spider-Man, you kind of see in there, he has a stand that he's jumping on, and then just on the back, so yeah, not a whole lot going on, regular pop, like I said, he's leaping, so, got them right there. And then next thing uh, we do have, or actually, uh, this was the first thing I probably should have showed off. Comic book. So we do have the variant cover. So this is the pose that the pops in, like he's flipping away. So we got the uh, bagged comic right there with the Collector's Corp variant. On the next items, uh, probably my least favorite of the box is the fabrications. I'm not really into this. Spider-Man number 32 out of the line of the Marvel stuff. It looks really cool. Does a little bit of artwork and stuff on it. And a little bio up on it of just the fabrications itself. Yeah, I'm not really into the fabrications. I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan of that stuff. So we got the New Lines uh, Pop Tops. The, this is the last product inside the box. This is a hat and it got the Spider-Man pop looking head up there and then the amazing spider-man it's an okay hat i'm into snapbacks and stuff like that especially anything geeky like a rock whenever so i kind of like it actually i'm just um most disappointed in this the fabrications kind of wish we got a got a t-shirt instead of that let me adjust this yeah wish we would have got a t-shirt instead of the pops uh i mean the fabrications thing I mean, overall, I'm cool with all this stuff other than the fabrications. So, I mean, I think it's a pretty decent box. Um, if they keep on doing this with the fabrications um, and they don't eventually go back to the t-shirts, I might be canceling. Um, all the boxes I've had, for the most part, have been pretty decent. Uh, I think that this is probably my worst one yet, just because I, I, I'm not a fan with this. I'm probably going to be selling it off. And then this is... Um, but I was talking about the opposite side of the Doctor Strange, and this just goes over everything real quick. All right, guys, um, that's my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. I'll have pictures up of all this stuff. Thank you.